Hey everybody, this is Pissed Rhino. Um, got a few things to talk to you about today. Um, this is a big day. I'm very excited about today. Um, first, I want to start off by thanking Cameron Goodman for having this made for me. How cool is this? It's got a picture of my Bronco on it, Pissed Rhino, my Pissed Rhino logo, and then the logo that's on the back of my truck. This is pretty badass. I've never received a gift like this before, especially from someone over the internet, and I mean, I just truly appreciate it. That's just awesome. Isn't that cool? Anyway. Thank you, Cameron. I do appreciate it very much. Um, I love it, and it'll be by my side until it's broke. <laughs> I do drink coffee in the morning, so that'll be my new coffee cup. So thank you very much. All right, let's move on to the big stuff. I've been waiting for this shipment, and it showed up yesterday. I opened the main package, but I haven't opened the little packages, so it's killing me. So I'm going to show you what I got. So I got a shipment in from my buddies over at Mias. Um, first thing they sent, uh, this is some not something I'm going to use, but I'm going to check it out and see, see how the quality is and the fitment is. Uh, this is their... I guess low center of gravity slash full chassis. This is uh, the non-body chassis. Um, so I'll check that out. See how the how that works. Um, should be something neat to look at. Uh, by the way, they're very cheap. I'm surprised at how cheap that chassis is. So if it's a sturdy chassis it will definitely be worth the money next up this is brand new breaking news and i'm gonna i'm gonna open these things as i go because these are just everything you could want in rc so this is the mias four-wheel steering module now you have to have a remote that has three um, channels uh, so you can upgrade to the TQI system or you can buy another four channel transmitter and receiver really cheap but this allows you to run four wheel steering so let's open this up and so what this makes it makes it so you don't have to program um, you don't have to program your controller. It's all done through this module that they've made here. We're going to open each one of these because these are just awesome. So you get the Mia stickers as always. And then here's the setup. So this is their module for four-wheel steering. Get it under the light a little bit. I guess I could lower my lights so. on. <clears throat> it's got uh, three outputs, three inputs. I'm not sure what all of them are for, but I will figure that out. Um, all of them are part of this, which also has two connections on it. So I'm thinking these two might be for the two servos and then you plug these in. I'm not 100% for sure, so I'm going to have to work on this and figure it out. But this module will allow you to run four-wheel steering without messing up, um, without having to use a controller with all the functions on it. So... You can get away with using a cheap transmitter and receiver, but yet still have four-wheel steering. 
that's an awesome piece and that's that's not been released yet so check it out this is the first time this is being seen in the public And you can look forward to it being released by Mias very soon. Cool, right? That's awesome. I never thought in this little show that we'd be um, showing new release product. But speaking of new releases, I'm very excited about this one. This one, I can't get over it because I'm sure nobody's seen it. Because it's the new release of the Mias Brushless Servo. So first, right off the bat, you can see that it's my favorite color, blue. So that's a plus for me. Um, it's brushless. This is the MEX12. Twelve point five kilograms of torque. The action seems smooth. I'd like to point out that it comes with a very nice servo horn which a lot of servos don't come with. But look at that. It's got Mias on the bottom. I really got to figure out my lighting setup. <clears throat> Try something here. I need you guys to see all of this, so I'm going to try something Now let's try and look at it. A blue 12.5 kilogram. It's got Mias on the bottom. It's got the Mias logo right next to the horn. It's got a nice black wire. One wire has the dotted line, but it's still not solid white, so it's inconspicuous. Uh, you know the holes line up with the mount because they're made by Mias. Um, this one happened to come with the mount. So this is the transverse servo mount with everything you need to install this baby. Isn't this exciting? I mean, it, first off, it's amazing that all this stuff is coming out for the TRX-4M platform. But then to see brand new stuff on this little video that I put together. But brushless 12.5 kilograms i mean I, I think that's the most kilogram most torque out of any micro servo but we will see um it's very similar in look to the enjora so i'm i hesitate just a little bit because the enjora servo was not that great in my opinion a lot of people love it um, but this Mias, I mean, that's going to look good on a build right there. Looks like the next Ripper will be, have some blue in it, finally, instead of all red, like this beast. All right, so that's the servo. 
Any questions about that, please put them in the comments below. It looks amazing. It feels amazing. We will see. All right, so let's clean up our area here. Of course, more of my favorite Mia stickers, which I need these for the next one. Be putting those on for sure. I guess we should leave this out here too. Leave that out there for everybody to see that. Last bit in the package. This is something I've been waiting for. I've still got to wait for another one, but this is sick. What is that mess? That is front and rear Mia's axles with portals. The front comes with the lay down servo mount and a servo already in it. So let's check this out. Obviously, these two products have not been released yet. This one, the portals have been released, and the axles have been released. Uh, and of course, the lay-down servo you can get, well, in a month or two, if you order now. But, let's lay this out. Right. Let's look at the rear first, because the rear's... Not, unfortunately, it's not going to be used in this build um, because I'm doing four wheel steering in this so we can compare the two. But there it is all greased up. Man, I mean, it looks great. The portal design looks great, nice and skinny. They've got offset extenders here, which means that we can run the Mias, the big. I'm talking about. So on the trill, you cannot run these because they're too close. But on these, you're going to be able to put those right there, and they're going to fit and work great. So you're going to be able to use these again, which is a plus. Um, like I said, I already got extenders on here, but we'll be using those for sure. Um, smooth. Well, I'm going to listen here. I mean, there's nothing. I mean, that's smooth as can be. It doesn't... I'll have to put tires on here. It don't feel as free-floating as the trails. <clears throat> but I know there is solid grease in here. They do grease them for you. Everything's good to go there. Um, but there's no noise. So the interface is clean. I don't know. It might just be the grease slowing it down you know how i like to spin the wheels but i think maybe once the wheels are on here it'll spin freely so that's pretty cool right i can't wait to compare them to their competitors i like that i like the diff cover it's got bearings in it blue bearings which is what i like this is what I run on all my builds. So we have that one. Um, it has a steering arm. I'm not sure what that's about. Again, these are not released. These are just packaged up for this, um, this little video. So, <clears throat> I'm not sure why that's in there, but once I get the other one of these, man, 
you've seen me display these on my other builds. It's nice to not have to not have to build it. Just and the reason I'm being quiet, I'm just wanting you guys to check it out. Um, there's a couple things. One, the separation between these two bars is a lot different than the others because the new portals, these just go underneath. So if you look at these, the steering arm goes in between on the C hub. But this goes there isn't a center section, so it it's lower. So there's less chance for hitting or binding. Also the C hub goes inside the portal. It mounts to the inside. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. What that does is increase the disc, the height of the portals. It actually brings the portals lower, but it raises the axle, which is the whole point of the portals. Same bearings. Okay, this one's a little looser than the other, I think. But look. They've got U-joints for the steering, which makes it, that full lock, it still spins just as freely. That's very nice. I mean, it's nice having all this done for you. I mean, look at that. The servo fits on there perfectly. Which is two of the... I hate when my camera does that, but anyway. Twelve point five kilogram servo. Looks like the steering is straight, set up perfectly. That means you don't have to do that. So, I mean, that's just that's all. That's an added plus. I mean, I love building my own RCs. Um. But knowing it's done by a reputable factory, I kind of like that too. So, that's a plus. I want to show you the difference in portals here. Let's go ahead and pull the tire. So, <clears throat> a couple things on the trail. One is there no there's no gap between the extension and the portal. So you can't use the big weights because it'll hit this. There's actually interference between that surface and the weights. Next, this thing is pretty big around. 
Now, mind you, it works great. Don't get me wrong. I'm not downplaying Turtle's parts because I find the axles are work great. They're very well built. But it would be nicer if they were skinnier. And if you look at the portals from the Mias, they are much skinnier. And there's an offset between the extension and the portal compared to these. Not going to allow you to be able to run the big old weights on these. Which everybody needs those weights. I mean, you have to have low down weight. So, <clears throat> that's the big difference I see right off the bat. So, the big differences I see are the portals are skinnier, which means less interference. Two, uh, the axles are extended so that there's a gap between your extension and the portal, which is definitely needed because... We've seen that on the trails that it hits. Third, the servo mount is already done. Your steering is straight. It's already done. And then to have the servo on top of it with a great horn. I mean, this is just a great setup. The only thing I would think, two things. The logo on the back is facing the wrong direction. It should be flipped upside down so that when it's sitting in the vehicle, it says Mias properly. You agree? I agree. If you're going to do this, you might as well do it completely right. So that's one. Two, you've got your lay down servo with the Mias logo made for vertical so if you stood this servo up and down the, the logo would look fine but when you're laying it down it doesn't look fine so you need to rotate that so it looks good um, when it's vertical or when it's horizontal my bad Sheesh. that's the two things on the servos the name and the logo placement um, as far as the axles right now the only thing, I the only thing I I don't like using nuts. You shouldn't have to use nuts in a build. And so there's nuts holding the steering linkage together. One there. One there. So if we could get rid of those, maybe put in a threaded section on the portals, that would make it even better. Um, what else do I see? I'm interested to see how well these U-joints work in the steering um, axles, because that's a little that's that's different than any other. I mean, it's kind of the same, but it's not. Um, a true U-joint has not been used in steering for the TRX-4M yet, so this is interesting. Everything else looks pretty great. Uh, these are adjustable portals. You can lift them up and down as far as the degrees forward. Um, that's kind of neat. Nobody else is offering that. So that's a neat thing. Other than that, I think they look great. I can't wait to see how they look on a build. Of course, the back one's pretty simple, but. Now, the back ones are actually integrated into the axle, so you can't. You know, take the portals off. 
which I don't know if the trails are that way or not. I never bought one because I've used two fronts, so it really doesn't affect my build any. But for those looking for a full set, hello. All right. What a what a great delivery day. All right, guys. I mean, how can you? I mean, we've got two things here that haven't been released yet. We've got the four-wheel steering, um, which I think I might try to run on the next build. Um, with my radio, it's pretty simple, but I don't know. Maybe I'll do a different build and do use that. I don't know. Well, let's see. I know I'm doing at least one more build. Maybe I'll do two. I got a lot of parts around here extra that I could probably put together another one. We'll see. But the servo, um, I'm excited to see how it works. It looks amazing. So I'm excited, excited, excited to see how these work. Never before seen Mia servos. Um, I'm sh they should be really soon. I think they're just waiting on packaging. Um, last That's the last I heard was they're waiting on packaging. So we'll see how that turns out. So um, these are going to be the basis for my Mia's build. It's going to be all Mia's. Everything on it except for the shocks. Um, Mia's are coming out with shocks but they're not going to be ready for I think a month I can't remember so I'll have to use the Endura shocks I'm using all the Mias gearing Mias links I think everything except for shocks well tires are little guy bracing products we know that for sure um, my wheel weights are SSD. My wheels um, are going to, I think my wheels are in Jora. Um, just because I had already picked out a set. Oh wait, no. No, the Enjoras are going on this truck. That's right. So I guess the trails will go on, on the new one. So... So I'm putting it red in drawers with red beadlocks on this one. It should look pretty cool. And then these, I'm going to re... That means i got to take these all apart. Um, I'm going to clean these up to make them just straight titanium so they're not purple and tan. Um, I might try to do blue again. I don't know. I'll have to see. I might just swap these out on Mega Build and let Mega Build have the plain titanium, and I'll use the blue ones off of Mega Build. I don't know. I got some thinking to do, but my God, how could you want more in a little video from Pestrino? I don't think you can. You can't beat this. So leave comments below. Um, questions, comments are welcome. Um, what else? Oh, thanks again to Cameron for my new coffee mug. I do appreciate that. And I'll see you guys next time when more of my parts show up or I start building. So bear with me. I'm just waiting to make sure I get all the parts in the to start building it and uh, once I do I'll let you guys know first uh, also if there's anything else coming down the pike um, I'll let you know um, and that's it have a great day thank you very much